We're going to go on the funicular, aren't we? It's got the word fun in it, so it's got to be fun. It's got to be fun. Well, we found a bit of snow. Making snow angels. Benny's been making lots of snow angels. Doggy snow angels. He likes the snow. Yeah, it's a bit filthy. It's pretty now. good, isn't it, Benley? So we're staying at Hotopia Borg Saint Maurice. Um, as you can see, there's loads of these little um, shacks and all sorts of different huts. There's like wagons there. These are like safari tents, and then beyond that, there's wooden huts. And we're right in the heart of the Alps, and the weather is absolutely incredible. Bad view, is it? There's are oh, another three California oceans in the uh, in the campsite with us at the minute, which is pretty cool. All different colours, all different styles. So yeah, pretty awesome van. It's certainly done as well these past couple of days. Cooking up a nice succulent chicken meal. What are we having with it? I think we're going to have some vegetable rice. Mix it with a bit of egg and some black bean sauce. Sounds good. Feel right. Is that alright for you? You don't care, do you? You'll have a bit of chicken if it's going. <laughs> what do you think to the site? Yeah, the site, the, the facilities are lovely. It's quite a compact site, I'd say. Yeah, it's a bit like a car park, isn't yeah. it? We just kind of chucked together. But yeah. I think a lot of sites are like that in Europe. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, it's okay. Near, like the big uh, ski resorts because this is yeah. near quite a big ski resort and I think that's probably why it's a bit more compact. So um, yeah, it's all right. There's, a, there's quite a good walk from here into the forest where we've taken Bentley earlier. Yeah, that was nice. So um, and yeah. if you are actually here for skiing, there's some um, there's like a shuttle bus to the funicular that takes you up to the ski resort. So it's very very good for that. So in true British style, I went into the supermarket here. Uh, came across the foreign foods area, which is quite funny because um, look what I found in the foreign foods area. Cadbury's buttons. So I bought them, obviously, because I'm a Brit, a Brit abroad. I wonder if they taste the same. And they had things like um, uh, kettle chips and things like that. So yeah, I am a true Brit abroad. Do they taste the same? Hang on. Oh, let's see, let's see. Do they taste the same? They taste exactly the same. That's amazing. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That's amazing. Let's Cadbury's giant buttons. <laughs> but on the big. <laughs> We're gonna go on the funicular, aren't we? It's got the word fun in it, so it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be fun. <laughs> Up there we're going. But this is Bentley's first trip ever on a train. And not only any train, but it's pretty much going vertical. So. <laughs> Should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll be all right.
and he's eating the snow whilst Lizzie tries to make it to the picnic table. <laughs> he's just going to slide down. It must feel amazing. Bentley loves it. <laughs> Pull him down. <laughs> This is pure perfection. We've finally found tons of snow. Bentley is just racing around like mad, loving the deep snow. He's, he thinks it's brilliant. I hope you can hear him just padding around. He just goes, he digs a hole and then goes to sleep in it. It's adorable. It's brilliant. But this was all made possible with the help of Eurotunnel. We'd like to say a huge thank you to, uh, to them for sponsoring these series of vlogs. For us, there is no better way to travel with your dog coming to Europe. This has been amazing. It's been so easy and I cannot believe that it has made places like this within very easy reaching distance. Yeah, especially with a dog, you know, that's, a, that's amazing. We've had some great travel all the way across here, but uh, yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. You just can't do it any other way. <laughs> He's so cute. He blooming loves it. He absolutely loves the snow. You're covering it with your thumb, Lizzie. Good job I'm here. Have you had any lunch? No, he says no. I'm sure he's going to have some of mine. <laughs> what have you ordered? I've got roast chicken coming. Oh, but it says half roast chicken, so I hope it's not half roasted. I hope it's fully roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over this weather. Oh, it's amazing. It's so warm in the sun as well. I think I'm going to get a tan. I think you will. <laughs> I've had to put sun cream on. I don't know if I can I zoom in and show those mountains over there so nice oh, I've gone for the duck this has got the chicken So we've made it back to the campsite. Um, we're gonna spend another night here, but it's been such a fantastic day. It's just been great. Bentley loved the funicular, <laughs> loved all the snow. He loved all the attention. He did, he got loads of attention. <laughs> and it's just been, yeah, really, really good day. We're a bit sort of unsure as to how Bentley would be. He's never been on a train, so we quite rightly so, we're a bit unsure. But it's, it's amazing. yes, it's been great. And it's boiling down here, so, Good job we left the heat run in the van. <laughs> you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. I love European Haribos. That's why I bought them, Haribos. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Can't believe how warm it is. It is so nice. Bentley's a bit warm, aren't you? Yeah, it's like, it was middle of March. We're in the Alps and it's like, 22 degrees, something like that. We've even had to put the awning out. And yeah. there's a lot of irony in this. We took chairs all around Europe. We took extra chairs that we could like lounge out in. We only ever used them once. Yeah, that was in September when we went, not last year, year before. And we thought that we would um, have loads of opportunities to just chill out in the sun. And I took three pairs of shorts, didn't use any of them, didn't use the chair, well, used the chairs once. <laughs> And this time we thought, oh, it's March, won't be stupid. I could easily do with some shorts now. So just chill out the rest of today. Definitely. So we're in a tunnel, unsurprisingly. It's, it's a very long tunnel, but it's not Mont Blanc tunnel. It's one further south. I can't remember the name of it. Tunnel de Frejou. Frejou. <laughs> That's probably perfect. <laughs> but um, it's sort of passing from France into Italy, and uh, for us, one way in the van is sixty euros. So that was not cheap at all. That was quite euros. expensive. So bear that in mind. But then Mont Blanc would be expensive as well. Yeah. I think for a normal car, it's forty euros. So quite expensive. So be aware of that. 
but they are that, that's a, that's the thing the roads are expensive but you're still stay, saving generally on accommodation and things like that traveling around so it's yeah, still especially in a camper van, yeah. you're still winning really by by traveling by camper van or motorhome but uh just be aware of it <laughs> budget appropriately so I'm, I'm driving really slowly and get my money's worth i want to be in here for as long as possible we're going to stop and have a bit of lunch in here as well <laughs> yeah. i am of course joking don't do that <laughs> 25 degrees Tunnels are really warm. <laughs> yeah, we should maybe stop off and use it as a sauna. <laughs> that was pretty crazy in the tunnel. We were saying how, um, how, well, how strict it is with all the speed limits and everything like that. And they've got little blue lights um, that help you judge the distance from your the car in front. And you have to keep in that tunnel. You have to keep 150 meters apart. The most interesting part though was the fact that they uh, surround the fuel trucks and things like that. So anything that's got sort of something that could be flammable on board, they actually surround it by their own vans with big flashy lights on to make yeah. sure that you don't crash into them. So it's a good idea, but God, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, though. absolutely. But now we're out the other side, we're in Italy, which means Bentley is in his next country. Nice. <gasps> Yay. here. <laughs> I'm pretty terrified about where Sean thinks we're going. I don't really know. Can you just pay attention to the road. I am doing. I'm, absolutely, I'm just going to sit here terrified and film the whole thing so Let's that hope. my last moments are on camera. Let's hope a coach doesn't come the other way. Oh my god, that would be awful. Well here's a spanner in the works. We actually can't get any further. We're about 700 metres from where I wanted to be but we're not, gonna We're, not get allowed. There. We're not allowed past. Oh, it's closed from the 30th of November to the 14th of April 2019, so can't Fair go enough. up here. But there's a bench here. Yeah, so, so we'll, let, we'll let Bentley have a wee break. This is only a place where we're going to have lunch anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. At least we know that no one's going to come and move us along, because you can't. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. We'll have a bit of, a bit of lunch. It's yeah. lunch. Sounds good to me. Just cooking up some vegetarian hot dogs. I don't know if you can see, but that's the view behind. What a location to be having a nice bit of lunch. And then Sean is sat up there with Bentley. Hiya! <laughs> so that's where we're gonna be eating lunch, lovely. Join us next time when a lovely Italian family lets us stay on their incredible land and Bentley discovers the stunning Italian lakes as we swap snow for the beautiful sunshine. And if you want to adventure like us, don't forget to check out Eurotunnel's website linked below where you can easily get over to Europe in just 35 minutes and start your own adventure.